have here, my friends, is a 1960 Jim Dandy, which is made by Economy, which is engineering products, out of Waukesha, Wisconsin. Now it's a 1960. It's easily confused with like a 59 or a 61, but you can tell for sure what it is based upon where the steering link is, how tall the front axles are. The fact it's the last year of the full rounded dash. Later, um, they had this same hood, but it came straight back in when it's flat. So a lot of little things like that really indicate what year this is. I bought this from a friend of mine, Errol, which anybody that knows economies knows Errol out of uh, Wisconsin here. And absolute sweetheart of a tractor. It's a nice little machine. It's not terribly much bigger than a regular B-Series Alice or anything like that. It's got... 16-inch uh, rears, 8-inch fronts. I mean, you can see it right next to my Aaron Snowblower here. It's not very big. This is a model 19 Briggs, and this is not the original motor. Sadly, it's the right model, but it's a different block. And the cool thing about this block is it actually has the port for mechanical fuel pump. Don't see that very often, if anything, or even at all, on those model 19s. Factory headlight brackets. Um, these are not the proper lights. They're very similar, but they're just not quite it. They work perfect. This is also an electric start model. A lot of these were uh, pull start only. You'd actually have to wrap the rope around the front here and pull it. But this is actually an electric start model. This has, because of the year, this actually has the T92, if I remember correctly, T92 transmission. The transmission, the bell housing with the clutch, which it's a single disc clutch. It's the clutch, bell housing, transmission, T92 trans, and rear end, the differential, are all out of uh, Crosley cars, the, the small Crosley automobiles. And I actually know a guy that has a couple of those and pretty cool machines. And what's really interesting about these transmissions, they have a very sh uh, very tight shift pattern. So you got, correcting myself here, you got one, two, three, and all the way back over. That's how far it throws. All the way over and up is reverse. I'm still learning that myself. I almost backed into my motorcycles when I pulled it out of the garage. But overall, I mean, it's weathered. It's... Let's see, 60 to now, so it's 61 years old. If my math is correct, so it's a 2021. So, if I look this good at 61 years old, I'll call that a victory. A little scaly here and there, but still good enough original. All I'm going to really do with it is give it a good bath and linseed oil it. I'm going to try finding a different front rim. This one is black. I'm going to look for one of the original orange. But that's pretty much it. This is like nitpicky stuff. A little wiring needs to be done, stuff like that. Overall, great running machine. Turns damn near flawlessly. Only a downside of the economy style tractors I don't like. They don't have any support on that steering shaft. And for somebody like me, with back and hip problems, it becomes a little difficult getting on here without pulling on something. And this does not have much support. So best thing to do is come on from the other side, swing your leg over, kind of put your hand on the hood and support yourself.
and thanks for watching and stay tuned for more because I have a couple uh, mini bike projects coming up I got a mini bike revival it's one that's out in the backyard now uh, I think they've done some sort of video on it before it's been in the garage it's uh let's just call it a buffalo let's see if you can figure that one out Eric you already know what it is because I bought it from you and then I got a couple other projects here. I got a customer simplicity I'm going to be working on. Uh, lost spark, restrictive muffler, little things like that. So I'm going to be going through that and putting it back together. Then I also picked up a case that I might do a rev uh, revival video on. And don't know much about it. That came from the original owner's son. And there's been some modifications done. It's got a later motor. The gas tank from under the hood was moved under the seat. Then they added a second tank because it would run out of gas so quick. So we'll see how that one turns out. I'm not going to restore it or put it back to original. It would just be cool to at least try getting it running and see what happens. But uh, a lot of stuff. Hey, look, a buffalo. Anyways, I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.